Here's a story that touches all of our families. So more than a third of adults over the age of 60 report feeling lonely. That's according to research from the National Institutes of Health. Yeah, and here at WUSA 9, instead of just sharing statistics, we like to share solutions. And tonight that leads us to a DC photographer helping make some of our seniors feel less lonely one picture at a time. Rashawn Martinelli shows us the inspiring impact of his work at the heart of it. We're making gift bags. If you've never been to the Forest Hills Assisted Living Community, oh, okay. you would never know the stories of the people inside. <laughs> people like Annie Abbott. Do you want to draw a ball? No, but I will. <laughs> Annie's a former Bluefield State University basketball star who went on to live a life worthy of that crown. It was when we celebrated your 95th birthday. Oh, okay, sorry. But like many here, <laughs> Annie's story is now largely tucked away within these walls. Look at she's coming up her whole page. Which is why. Our desire in producing this project was the desire to connect with our community. If Forest Hills CEO Tina Sandry couldn't bring the masses in, her team decided to help bring the residents here out. We've had on multiple occasions people walking up from the street, literally with tears in their eyes, um, and asking what this is about. It's called See Me, Hear Me. DC-based photographer Marvin Bowser took the photos that are now part of this temporary display. They're not necessarily in their last chapter. It might be a later chapter, but there's, they, they, you know, there's still some pages to turn. The shots show both the residents and their dedicated caregivers. There are these chosen family stories that are just like really beautiful. I know what that is. In Annie's case. That's the Delta symbol. That's marketing director Vicki Parker. I call you auntie. Uh-huh. Right. Uh -huh. Because you told me that I'm too old to be your daughter, so. <laughs> <laughs> During their time together, right. Vicki learned her unofficial auntie traveled the world, but she never got married, she never had kids, she has no family nearby. Did you ever get lonely? Did I ever? All the time I was. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that she felt lonely, you know, being by herself and traveling by herself. You know, it does make me sad. Are you keeping some secrets from me? <laughs> no. I'm not hearing a word she's saying. I know, and it's okay. It's okay. Each day. Thousands passing by now get a little bit of Annie in their lives. You see it? What? Right here, your picture. A shot that makes this former basketball player light up like a buzzer beater. Hi, so, Annie. Hi, she said hi, Annie. That's the look hi. of someone who feels seen. It's really rewarding to not be invisible to our community, to matter to our community. Um, it's what everybody wants. What everybody wants and what Annie and dozens of others here now have. Wow. Wow. That's a good point there. You know, you just want to be seen. You want to be heard. And I think, you know, even beyond Miss Annie, mm. who is extraordinary, whether they're in a, an assisted facility living or not, or just your parents or your grandparents mm -hmm. living at home, it's a reminder that reach out to them. Yeah. Go spend some time with them. Yeah. It's what we're all looking for. Yeah. It's, it's an issue that transcends age. It does. And one aspect of this project that I really like is they have a giant QR code next to the exhibit, and people can scan it and actually oh. read the stories of the people who live there that go beyond the pictures, and some really fascinating stories there. I want to know how Miss Annie's going to react to seeing herself on TV now. Yeah, I know. I know. After seeing her picture we there. We should have had a live camera <laughs> at Forest Hills when tonight. When she said, when, when, when Auntie... Annie uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. silenced her for saying 95. Yeah. It was like, and does she even look 95? Not at all. I don't even know what 95 at, yeah. looks like, but she doesn't look like whatever that's yeah. supposed to look like. If yeah. only we could be so lucky to, to be right. like that at 95. Absolutely. Yeah. As you both know, I'm always looking for stories, yeah. great people like Miss Annie. Uh, the email is theheartofit at wusa9.com. They make okay. us feel good. I know. We love this. We need this. It's like this. a palate cleanser. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> On a stay Tuesday, here right? all day, Sean. <laughs> Tell us just, more, I won't Sean. leave. Put your we'll, feet we'll up and we'll all get to the, the heart of it. All <laughs> Thank right. Thank you, Sean. <laughs>